I have received some feedback from users of the Crypto Voice software that sound quality leaves something to be desired. I first want to say thank you to those of you who have been so kind as to use the system and provide feedback. I read every comment and try to earnestly respond to questions and feedback. I want to make the system work well and be at least as easy to use as the radio it's connected to. I am not a voice codec designer or audio engineer by trade, but I do know that all compression schemes make certain assumptions about the data being fed into them. And if you feed something in that is too far from what is expected, the compression doesn't work right. When I hear the voice samples provided with the Codec 2 source code, they sound good. Yet when I hear what it does to my voice samples, something isn't quite right. So, operating under the assumption that Codec 2 can in fact work and work quite well, I looked into ways I could adjust the voice being fed into the codec in an attempt to improve the audio quality without having to use a higher bitrate. I ended up stumbling on a write-up the Codec 2 designer made back in 2015 when he was researching the same thing when developing the very low bitrate modes. This gave me some ideas, and I also played with settings a bit and came up with some of my own. I also observed that the voice samples when played through my Baofeng UV82 sounded very different than they did through my laptop. After a bit of digging, I was able to find an equalizer curve for the UV82C in the FCC Part 90 test report. From that, I was able to create an equalizer curve in Audacity that I could feed my audio samples through to give me a fairly accurate representation of what I heard from the radio. My assumption was that the radio was doing what it did for a reason, and maybe by trying to replicate what it was doing, I could make the system sound better, or at least more familiar. This is where you come in. What follows this little monologue is three voice samples, each captured with a different microphone. My computer headset, a lapel microphone that came with my UV82, and the built-in laptop microphone. I have compressed them with various filter and equalizer settings, and have also provided the original sample and the sample passed through my UV82 for reference. I am hoping to get some feedback from all of you as to which sounds better. With that said, let us begin the test. This is a test using my headset. My headset. This is a test using 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 my headset. This is a test of a lapel mic. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test 
using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop. This is a test using the built-in microphone on my laptop.